Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem. We have to find out the orthocenter of triangle which sides as 7x plus y minus 10 equals to 0, x minus 2y plus 5 equals to 0 and x plus y plus 2 equals to 0. So let's draw a triangle ABC. Let us say AB is equation of AB is given by this equation of BC is given by second one equation of AC is given by x plus y plus 2 equals to 0. Now what is orthocenter? We have to find out the orthocenter. We know the equation of the sides. We have to find out the orthocenter of the triangle. First of all, what is orthocenter? Orthocenter is point of intersection of altitudes. What is altitude? Altitude is the line segment drawn from opposite vertex perpendicular to the opposite side. Similarly, one altitude is from A perpendicular to BC, another altitude from B perpendicular to AC. Let's draw the altitudes. So we can see now AD is one altitude, BE is another altitude. So how to find out the coordinates of orthocenter? For that, First we need to get the equation of AD, then we have to find out the equation of BE. The point of intersection of AD and BE is orthocenter, let us say that is H. So we have to find out coordinates of H. So we know the equation of AB, we know the equation of BC, we know the equation of AC. So what we need to find out now, we need to find out at least two coordinates. I need A coordinates because I know the equation of BC, I can find out the equation of AD by using point and slope form because slope of AD is negative reciprocal of slope of BC because AD is perpendicular to BC. Similarly, BE is perpendicular to AC. So we need to find out the coordinates of A and B so that we can find out equations of AD and BE. So let's write down what are the steps we have to do. The first step what I have to do is first we have to find out the coordinates of first we have to find out coordinates of A and B. Because without knowing A and B, we cannot get the equations of AD and BE. This is nothing but the point what we need for the point slope form. The second thing, we need to find out the equations of altitudes that is AD and BE. Once we find out the equation of altitudes, now next we have to do solve them and find out the point of intersection we have to find out point of intersection H by using linear equation in two variables. First, how to find out the coordinates of A and B? We know equation of AB, we know equation of BC. We solve them, we get the point B. We know equation of AB, we know equation of AC, we solve them, we get the point A. So let's first write down what is our ABC here. So 7x plus y minus 10 equals to 0 is our AB. x minus 2y plus 5 is our AC, let us say. And x plus y plus 2 equal to 0 is our BC. Now suppose we want to find out the coordinates of A. Now where A is common, A is common in between AB and AC. So we will take AB and AC. We solve to find out the coordinates of A. So let's first find out coordinates of A. What is AB equation? 7x plus y equals to 10. What is BC equation? AC equation. What is AC equation? X minus 2y. X minus 2y equals to minus 5. Now we want to solve this by elimination method. Then what I have to do? I have to multiply first equation 
with 2 then I can eliminate y value so I'll write down 14x plus 2y equals to 20 and x minus 2y equals to minus 5 now you see that 2y and 2y will cancel when you add them so you will get 15x is equals to 15 or x equals to 1 if x equals to 1 how to find out the value of y we can write down 7x plus y is 10 or y equal to 10 minus 7x that's equals to 10 minus 7 into 1 which is equals to 3 so the coordinates of a are 1 comma 3 so I can go there and write down coordinates of a are 1 comma 3 now let's find out the coordinates of b to find out the coordinates of b we need sides where b is common so we need a b and we need b c we need a b comma we need b c from which we can get b so let's write down equation of a b is given by 7x plus y equals to 10 and equation of b c is given by x plus y equals to minus 2 now I see that plus y plus y so can I go ahead and subtract them when I subtract them I'll have minus here I'll have minus here and this will become plus y y will cancel I have 6x equals to 12 that means x equals to 2 if I got x equals to 2 how to find out the value of y I can write down y equals to 10 minus 7x that is 10 minus 7 into 2 that's equals to 10 minus 14 which is equals to minus 4 so the coordinates of b are x is 2 y is minus 4 so can I write down 2 comma minus 4 now once we know coordinates of a and b the first step is over now we have to find out the equation of AD and BE then we have to find out the point of intersection which is our ortho center. So let's go to the next step where we will find out the equation of AD and BE now. Now let's go and try to find out the equation of AD. We know that AD is perpendicular to BC and also AD passes through point A. Now how to find out the equation of AD? We know equation of BC. BC equation is x plus y plus 2 equals to 0. So what will be the equation of AD? AD equation will be x and y will coefficients will interchange and the signs will change. So it will become y minus x plus k equals to 0 and ad is passing through the point 1 comma 3 so can i go ahead and substitute 3 minus 1 plus k equals to 0 or 2 plus k equals to 0 or k equals to minus 2 that means equation of ad is given by y minus x minus 2 equals to 0 or also can be written as x minus y plus 2 equals to 0. Now let's step back and try to understand how we got this equation of AD when we know the equation of we know equation of BC is x plus y plus 2 then what is equation of AD for that we have the formula the formula is given by if we have a line ax plus by plus c equals to 0 then its perpendicular line is given by the quotients will switch with a sign change so x will get now b bx plus will become minus and it will be ay plus k equal to 0 this is the equation of the line which is perpendicular to ax plus by plus c equals to 0 that logic we have applied to find out the equation of ad now what is the equation of ad we got x minus y plus 2 equals to 0 so let's write down that x minus 
y plus 2 equals to 0. That is our equation of AD. Now let us find out what is the equation of BE. Similarly, we know that BE is perpendicular to AC. We know that BE is perpendicular to AC. What is the equation of AC? AC equation is given by x minus 2y plus 5 equals to 0. What will be equation of BE then? The coefficients will change. So, 2 will come to x, minus will become plus and this one will go to y. It will become 2x plus y plus k equals to 0. Now, BE is passing through the point 2 comma minus 4 that is point B. When you substitute, you get 2 into 2 minus plus 1 into minus 4 plus k equals to 0. That is 4 minus 4 plus k equals to 0 which is k equals to 0. So, the equation of BE equation of BE is given by 2x plus y equals to 0. Now, that is equation of BE. So, let us go ahead and write down where is BE? We have equation of BE given by 2x plus y is equals to 0. Now, we find out the point of intersection of AD and BE. We will get the coordinates of orthocenter that is h. Now, the second step is over. We are moving to the third step. We know equation of AD. Equation of AD is we'll write down. Equation of AD is x minus y plus 2 equals to 0. And the equation of BE, what we got just now, is given by 2x plus y is equals to 0. Now, you can add both of them. You get 3x plus 2 equals to 0. You will get x equals to minus 2 by 3. Now, what is the value of y? We know that 2x plus y equals to 0. That means y equals to minus 2x, which is equals to minus 2 into minus 2 by 3. That is equals to, equals to 4 by 3. So, the coordinates of h are the coordinates of h are x minus 2 by 3 comma y 4 by 3. So, that is the coordinates of the orthocenter what we need to find out for the triangle. Let us summarize this. We have been given a triangle with sides 7x plus y minus 10 equals to 0 x minus 2y plus 5 equals to 0 and x plus y plus 2 equals to 0. We have to find out the orthocenter of this triangle. Since we know the sides, we can find out the point of intersections. AB and AC intersection will give us A. AB and BC intersection will give us B. We know equations of BC and AC. So, we can easily find out equations of AD and BE by using point slope form. Once we got the equations of AD and BE, we can find out the point of intersection by elimination method. We can find out that coordinates are minus 2 by 3 comma 4 by 3. So, that is how we can find out the orthocenter of a triangle if sides are given to us.